All right, so um, <sighs> today this is part five, and how to make a boss in Unity, I guess. <clears throat> oh, I don't feel good. It's kind of school. And, uh, yeah, just enjoy the nice music. Anyway. And, uh, this is what happens with Unity sometimes. It just causes sieges from nowhere. Whoa! Now the fog is off! Whoa! Ow! Ow! I'm dying! Oh, this is so cool! Ah! Oh no! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Oh no! Ugh! I'm dead. <laughs> so that was really cool, cause uh, you know, I'm a programmer and I know how to turn fog and render settings and stuff on slash off. I've had a little trouble with trying to do the distance, but, you know. He's really jumpy today, I guess. Ow! Ah! ah, ah. You know, you know, whenever he starts running at me or following me, he actually just faces me sideways, even for the boss. It's just a problem with the model, because I applied the rotation and all this other stuff. It's crazy, actually. So, me at the end of the video, you know. Oh yeah, and uh, thank you for Master ED for supporting me, and uh, yeah, later at the end of the video, I'll talk more about him. So which one is it? Ah! Ew! So uh, yeah, back into the cellar thingy I guess.
Then let's just get a little more atmospheric. If we turn off the flashlight, dust motes everywhere and stuff. And it kind of gives like a bluish fluorescent light kind of thing. Phew. Oh, yeah, right. I'm going to need some first aid kits. I'll wait. No, not that room. Yeah, I gotta fix that. There. I removed the crouching script, I guess. Oh, wow. Oh, where did that thing go now? That thing is gone. That heart, that beating heart. That may not be too noticeable. Well, it is noticeable, but the heartbeat. I literally used a script to animate it. And yes, you may be going, well, you can use the animator tab, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to make mine procedural, you know. It's completely procedural. Can up the base size and stuff. Control the speed. All that stuff without having to change keyframes and other stuff here. So, we go over to here. Oh no. Ah! Ah! Whew! Ah! This is like... This is going to be a little easy as a boss fight, but, you know. Oh! Ow! Okay, that really got me. Now they do 20 damage for landmines. And there's lots of them. Oh no. Ah! Comment in the section below if you like my music. He just keeps on raining landmines. So there's that. Um, the force of the things isn't enough. So I go to my Pokemon boss one. You should see my how to trigger boss fight a tutorial, the very first part, I guess, because that's why my script is turned off at first. Throw force one, one, two, three, four. Hold on. Is that, yep, that's 1,000. So, yeah, that's, that's good, yeah. And then, so let's go into here, and let's make missiles this time. Ugh. So, these are going to try and target you. So, how do I do that? I have no idea, but I'll try and uh, just throw code in there and stuff. Yeah. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, okay. Alright. So. I'm just gonna. Wait. And, uh, bah. Neutral C. Public, public boolean, um, reset, uh, missile attack. And so, instead of, it's going to also invoke this after, eh, 15, and, uh, I'm just going to, 
Control V that. Control C, Control V. Start. Mist. No. Missile attacking. Delay. Reset. Missile attack. Invoke. Reset. Missile attack. Oh, yeah. Reset missile attack. Boolean, I guess. Reset missile attack. No, control C. Control V. Ooh, it's the same thing. Let's see, this is a mess, and first of all, ah, uh, this is not what I want. So, first of all, hmm, it's not going to add a force with the rigid body, because why? Uh, you know, these missiles, I'm going to try and track your position and follow you, instead of trying to be thrown at and stuff. This is also going to try and, um, oh, uh, these won't have an animator on them. And then, let's see, what else is there? Uh, reset, reset, missile attack, reset, where is it? Reset, missile attack. Reset missile attack would flip it, so reset missile attack. There. And then what else is there? Still a mess here. I'm just gonna remove that. Remove that. Remove that. Oh, jeez. Remove those. Now I've got. Well, four of these. That's it. Yes. Oh, and, uh... Let's see. Public transform array. Missile... Missile throw position, I guess. Oh, Beep. Now I gotta just rename all these here. Not the best way to go, but whatever. I'm just gonna wing this, so, uh... Missile throw position at... Missile throw position. Let's see. Rename... Are these, oh, no, don't you, wait, are you, ah, beep, missile, I'm just gonna add a missile, and then a missile, ugh, Missile. The life of a programmer trying to program a giant boss battle. So, uh, yeah, just stay with me here. Missile and missile. Now, we gotta rename these too, yes. Still, stay with me. Missile. At the missile with the missiles <laughs> and the missile. More it sounds more like missile to each time you say it more and more and more and more and more and more and more. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Missile attack. Reset missile attack. Equals equals false. 
And there we go. It's going to make it true. It's going to invoke it to make it off again. And if that's false, it'll do everything all over again. Oh, and, um, two, well, three. So these are going to have a, so he'll throw it every, so, um, he's, he's going to start shooting them at the very start after 15 seconds. Same with the, uh, well, hold on. What is this called? Start attack, start missile attack, okay. So, control C, control V. There, okay. And that's it. That's, I guess that's all you need to do right now. I guess. Yeah. Now we have to make transforms for all of the, 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 oh, wait. Wait. Oh, wait, wait. So this is going to depend on how much missile holes you have. Like little things that will eject missiles. I've got three, six, mm, well, nine missile holes. So we have to just, well, one, two, three. Yeah. D. Enter. Uh, landmine, four, five, six, seven, and just gotta copy that over, control D, another time, and eight, I absolutely don't know what I'm doing, I'm just throwing in noodle, noodle code, I guess. Just look at this neat, just this neat mess. It's a neat, but it's also a mess. Yeah. And I can just minimize those because I got a hashtag region. I can also name it like Rhino Star. Rhino Star. See, now it's gonna have Rhino Star right there. And double click. No, uh, yeah. Hashtag region rhino star landmines. Hashtag rhino star landmines. Yeah. So hashtags do have a place in coding, not just a uh, spamming the comments or whatever. So uh, yeah. Okay. Ah, wait. Uh, uh, oh, wait. There's another thing we have to do. Well, zero, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Okay. Zero, one, two, th three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I've got an array of transforms over here. So that's why um, you can input numbers and these are indexes. So there's element zero, one, two, and the numbers are the last part are indexes. <sighs> the more you know, I guess, whatever they call it. So, then I also gotta grab a missile game object too, and uh, you can, I think I can also add in the same, in, uh, um, explodable, mine explode thing, but instead with the missiles, cause, you know, it's, I want to make them also shootable, I guess, but then I, I ain't doing anything for the porcupine, why? Because I don't have a, uh, this is, okay, just gotta organize all this, trigger boss, don't need that, don't need that, I'm also gonna make a public void, take damage, integer, 
amount. Oh, yeah. That's not gonna have anything in it. Why? Uh, I guess I'll do the health stuff and another tutorial. This is a mess with the desktop here. <gasps> Why do I feel? I am always not gonna feel good because of school. The school. It's just. Anyway, the. Anyway, this I don't need to mess with. Wait. Yeah, there's gonna be nine here. Zero. So it's gonna start at zero like all of the transforms and stuff. <gasps> Create an empty. Um, also, he might. He might be able to shoot lasers at you. I can actually easily do that. There's a transform that will be parented to the front of the porcupine's beak or so. And that's going to shoot out a ray cast. And uh, it's just going to shoot out a straight line in one millisecond. Just, uh, it's just going to move and stuff. Yeah. Was it that? It was just going to make a projectile. I think ray i never done ray casting for enemies. Just ray cast from players, so uh, create an empty, rename, missile, throw, missile throw, and uh, stay with me, again, so go to the big giant cube, make him, uh, make him yellow, I guess, there we go, so that's one, Duplicate, go up, missile flow one, duplicate, missile flow two, and uh, move and stuff. Control D, control D, control D, control D, control D, control D, oh wait, there, control D, control D. Well, there it is. The missile flow. There. And then. So now I've got all that. Wow. Well, zero. Alright, let's see. And stay with me. And uh, three. And uh, four. And uh, five. And uh, six. And uh, seven. And uh, eight. And uh, well, there was no more. So, uh, like the compiler errors say, it's uh, index is out of bounds or what not so well yeah every every um every so often I'm going to have a few blender tutorials you know what blender is you know this blender this is blender right yeah blender we all know blender right if you don't know blender I don't know what yeah I guess but whatever so yeah, Blender is used for models and all this other stuff, you know. Anyway, so uh, oh yeah, right. Hold on while I get uh, alright, so um, I got out my uh, landmine thingy, so uh, just go here I added ridge body, make sure it's is schematic, cause it's gonna be controlled with a, uh, I don't know, a follow thing script. I guess. So, uh, yeah. And then over here, player health. That's going to be a duh. Well, we don't need to sign that because it's going to be a prefab. So, uh, you know. Explosion a component. Audio, audio source. There. Now. There we go. Do not plan awake. Explosion prefabs. 
Oh yeah, it's gonna be another big explosion, so I just assign that in. Damage, you know, it's like 50. Two hits with this missile will kill you. <laughs> well, in real life, one would just completely wipe you out. But, you know, this is a game. It, so, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. That's, that's it. Now make a new script. This is going to be called Missile Follow. Oh, why? Just why? <sighs> stay with me. How many times do you have to say stay with me? Just... There. Ah. There you go. Alright. Let's see. Uh. Hmm. So, I'm just going to remove the start, func the start function, and then, um, void update, tra transform dot position, position equals vector three dot, hmm. Hmm. What is it called again? Oh, dot. Yeah. Okay, so you got. So, transform dot position equals vector three dot um, move towards. Alright, so we got a vector three current, then a target flow, max distance delta. Okay, so. Calculate position between the points specified by the current and the current and target. So, it's going to move from position to public transform target target dot position and public float mm, max distance not yeah max distance yeah done I guess maybe Come on, come on, come on. I really hope this works. A single line of code should do something. Oh, yeah, also it's going to be a prefab, so, uh, you know. Uh, we're going to need the start function. Uh, target equals game object dot find player dot get component transform oh transform cause it's literally up it's literally a single component if you actually if you actually see this is a different component see and then uh, see copy component component, whatever it says component, and it is a component. So uh, we don't need to assign anything, just a maximum distance will be 1, 1, 2, 3, 1,000. We don't see anything, so void on draw gizmos. The more you know, unless if you already knew this, gizmos dot draw what no why dot draw not 
no draw wire sphere and a transform dot position and then max distance. There. Do, 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 do. By default, it's going to be white, I guess. There, see? This is the radius of a thousand. A little too much, right? Just drag it down. There. Who knew? Well, there. That's that's enough. Just enough to fill the arena. Because, you know, yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah. So, uh. Oh, yeah, uh, transform dot, look, oh, yeah, dot, look at, <laughs> max distance dot, yeah, maximum, oh, yeah, hold on. This is gonna have to be a game object, so uh, target dot transform. Game object dot find player, I guess. And then the maximum distance. <sighs> this is not supposed to be a Target dot transform dot dot rotation, right? No. Whew. There. This could have just been a transform, I guess. But whatever. Just gotta get rid of all those, uh, you know. Anyway. So that's that. Next, we're just going to, uh, first of all, drag that down there. Now, let's see. Let's hope this works. 305 unit option failed and load was. Where the heck did it go? Why? What is going on? Hold on. Well, okay. Uh. Okay. Uh. Huh. Let's just drag the player, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This is gonna get weird. Just, why would you? Huh. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Transform. Dot get component. Transform. There. All done. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the max distance is gonna be a little too high. So, uh. Oh. One. Ten. I guess ten would be good, I guess. Actually. Fifty. Nope. Fifty is a good one. Uh, eh. Twenty-five. There, it's big enough, I guess. <sighs> Let's see. 
play, you just gotta walk. Now let's see, let's hope this thing does not run off again. Ouch! Ow, what the beep did you do? <laughs> that's, that's, uh, uh, all right, whatever, whatever. Zero. This is just a mine. Sure, you know. All right, 90 degrees. Zero. Whoa, whoops. 0 0.002. 0.02 no, 0 0.02 there so then we just uh, slap on the green material so where's my materials oh oh uh, what hmm where is, well, let's just go to materials. <gasps> Ow. So, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's my, uh, stuff. This thing will be quick as hell, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, boop. And then, uh, shift down, delete. Dumpling deletes. Hmm. <laughs> missile and that should be it and I hope the player actually gets to have a chance at you know getting the uh getting the missile ah hold on stay with me here or you can just skip just uh, skip this one part but you may not find the end of this if I can get back out of this nightmare alive. Also, after I'm done with my boss battle series, I'm going to teach you how to like, uh, well, if you just saw, you could see my bullet holes were like staying in midair or something. While it was, um, after it was shot, after it was instantiated on the enemy, so, uh, I'm gonna learn how to parent the bullet hole to the uh, monster or whatever is uh, moving so that it doesn't go all buggy. Ouch! Oh man! Uh. Oh no. Even first aid kits can't get me now. Seriously. So, uh. Mm. Ah! I feel even more hurt. But I'm not. It's just something wrong with the... I'm just going to use a counter. Also, I may do a tutorial on how to show your health as a UI element. Because, you know... Oh, jeez. Ah! I don't care! Why? Oh, I'm dead. Ah, oh, what? What the heck? Hmm. 
Also, I may um, do another video one day on how to, you know, make sure that he starts attacking once uh, he gets shot or something. Phew. I just love all the dust motes. I will fix those. Oh, hello. Oh, Shh. hello. Ow, ow, ah, ah, I can't see. What is wrong with this thing? You can kill me now if you. I still die, but whatever. He's gonna uh, stop annoying me now. I guess. Maybe. Who knows? Stay with me, I guess, and hope you don't. Oh, oh man. Hold that thing can't get me through rooms. This is going to be a long tutorial. Ugh. There you Also doing all the tutorial on how to make breakable uh, light bulbs, I guess. Oh, what? Ouch! One got me! Ow! What the? Oh, a missile got me! Beep! So a missile got me, and I could, and I didn't even notice. I'll try and fix that in the next tutorial. Bye.